Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing off a project I built actually quite a long time ago, but, um, you know, I just thought I'd show it off. It's something you can make really, really easily, and, um, you know, just it's, it's very nice. So, anyway, what we have here is this is just a little variable power supply I built a while ago. Same thing as the big one I showed off in the first ever video in this series. Um just using an LM317. Anyway, so that's just a power supply. No need to worry about this. This is where the real magic happens. Not magic, obviously, but where the real cool stuff happens. Basically, inside here, it, we, I just have some little pins hooked up so I can clip on the alligator clips. Just clip them up to the power supply. And then we have some little outputs here. So if we turn on the power supply and we touch them together, you'll notice the sound. Not sure if you can hear that, it's kind of quiet, but it's a continuity tester, so when we put the two probes together, it makes a sound. Watch. And so, you know, very simple continuity tester. And the thing that's nice is about it is it's instant, so as soon as the probes touch together, the noise starts. There's none of this, like, one and a half second delay, one second delay that you'll find on um, many multimeters like the one that I have. So inside it, and if you're wondering what this knob is, it just changes the duty cycle of the sound. And it also changes the frequency a bit slightly too, because it's kind of unstable. Anyway, all that's inside here is we just have a, a bypass cap or two, and then a 5-5 timer oscillating circuit. And I'll put the circuit as a picture on the files page of my website, which will be linked below. So, yeah. That's the circuit. So all it is, it's a 555 timer circuit, and between the 555 timer and the speaker, instead of just being a wire, there are these two little um, connections, right? The positive connection isn't really positive, and the negative isn't really negative. It's just these act like a switch. And so this, so normally when there's no probes connected, there's just the two little things, right? And so, um, and then there's the speaker connected to ground. So normally the speaker is connected to the positive one and the other end is connected to ground. And the black one is connected to the end of the 555 timer. When you touch them together, they form a connection, and then the um, square wave coming from the 555 timer gets to the speaker at the speed of whatever the electricity is moving, which is very fast. And thus you have a practically instant continuity tester. You could add a MOSFET or a power amplifier if you wanted a bit louder, or you could... Um, add like a um, piezo, really loud buzzer or something like that, or a large speaker. I just have a speaker for the cell phone in here. Anyway, that's all it is. Just um, power supply. You can have it be built in or not built in. In this case, 555 timer. Just a, all the circuits will be on my website. And where you would normally connect the speaker to the 555 timer, just via a direct wire, instead connect two probes, and thus like a switch, right? Connect it to two points. So normally where your speaker would be connected to the 555 timer instead connect that to one and normally where your 555 timer would be connected to the speaker connect that to the um, other probe thus when you touch them together connection formed and that's it so um, and the 555 timer I'm giving it about 11 volts right now so as you can see when I touch them together it makes the noise As you can see, there's no delay either. So, that's it. Really basic, simple continuity tester. Go build it yourself. Remember, schematic is on the website. That's all. Just 555 timer, really, and a speaker. And then just this knob just changes the duty cycle. You could leave the duty cycle at about 55-60%. I figure that, that that works always pretty good for me. So, Thanks for watching. As always, comment, rate, subscribe, go to the website. Thanks for watching. Bye.